Hi, everybody. Um, it's been a couple days, I think, since um, since I've actually recorded something. My screen was going wonky. It's all reinstalled, and we're good now. So um, this will hopefully be a short video about this year's AP exam, which everybody's been asking about. And finally, um, I'm able to kind of wrap my head around and plan for us. All right. So um, it's going to be open book and open notes. There are going to be two free response questions for us. All AP exams are just going to be free response questions. Um, it's going to be about 40 minutes long. You get five minutes for uploading each question, and you need to access the online testing system 30 minutes early to get set up. So this is all on you for timing and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to be as supportive as I can and kind of harass you via Remind that day and maybe beforehand, um, and we'll see what happens. So you can take the exam on any device you have access to, computer, tablet, phone, and you can either write your response by hand, take a picture of it and upload it, or you can type it in, okay? So whatever it is that works for you. These exams are not easy. Um, it's gonna take more than copying information from your notes. You're gonna have to apply that information in order to complete this. Um, it's not going to be giving you definitions and stuff like that or asking you for definitions. You still need to prepare for the exam. You still need to review hardcore. And all, it's not always like, okay, I have my giant binder in front of me. What is it that I'm going to be looking up? Okay, that's not going to work for you. Don't copy responses word for word. Um, copying what you have done won't satisfy for the answer. Your class notes are better than internet searches, um, study guides, things like that. My, my goal here is to get you guys prepped um, so that you're not looking for answers. You're kind of mulling it over in your head. Okay. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, Wikipedia has, you know, um, not so great sources a lot of times. And then collaborating with others is not considered open notes, okay? So it's very forbidden to give or receive these answers. If you have the same answers as somebody else, because we're going to have a big database of all of them, we'll be able to see those answers together and that they're word for word the same, okay? So it's like, oh, well, they're not going to be very simple answers. So it's not going to be like, oh, well, we just found the same thing. So if you're going to copy something from Wikipedia, like thousands of other people are probably going to do that as well. So don't. Um, exams are given from May 11th through May 22nd. It's going to be taken at the same time worldwide. So our exam is later on the day to adjust for um, people not having to take it at like, you know, four o'clock in the morning. So you're taking it at home. Um, schools aren't reopening until at least May 15th. And I don't think they're reopening this year. Um, so accommodations, if, um, you have approved accommodations from college board, then what you need to do is contact your guidance counselor for that information. I don't know how that's working this year, um, but contact your guidance counselor. They definitely do. Exam scores. It's still going to be a one to five, and they're still going to try to release everything close to the July timeframe. Um, we're also going to get your response within 48 hours after each test date. So I'll have your responses. And then what's going to end up happening is we'll kind of crowdsource a rubric that I'll have access to before we actually do the AP read. So they're going to wait until you guys take the exam to see how many readers they need. And then we'll figure out if I'm actually grading exams this year. All right, our exam, AP Environmental Science, Monday, May 18th, okay? Um, that's in three weeks, three weeks, okay? Eastern time, 4 p.m., okay? So May 18th at 3.30, you're logging into your computer to get set up to take this exam and be super psyched about it. You're gonna have 25 minutes to read and respond to your first question and then five minutes to upload it. After uploading your response, you're going to have 15 minutes to respond to question two and then an additional five minutes to upload it. OK, once your response to question one has been submitted, you can't go back to it before starting question two or after you start question two or whatever it is. OK, so question one is 25, 
minutes. It's 60% of your grade. Okay. So you're going to design an investigation. So in our, our review, we're going to cover that a lot more. Um, the question is going to present you with an authentic environmental scenario accompanied whew, by either a model or a visual representation or some sort of quantitative data. And it's going to assess your ability to describe or explain environmental concepts, processes, and models, analyze visual representations or data, analyze research studies that test these environmental principles, or describe some sort of uh, environmental problem or a response to an environmental problem, okay? These aren't completely foreign. The pre-response questions that the College Board has been giving for years and years and years, and I've been drilling you guys with all year, are a lot of these describe, analyze things. This is not foreign, this is not something new to you guys, so don't freak out. I'm gonna give you the tools and we're gonna review the stuff that we need to review, okay? Um, question one, is going to be lengthened from uh, the original type of free response question that you would have gotten on this exam, okay? So it's they're not doing new information here. It's the same kind of format, except for they're not gonna have the, you know, list one, you know, blah. So you will not be asked to provide or give them points for providing basic definitions. It's gonna focus on these environmental concepts, processes and models, how they interrelate, how they apply, okay? So that is big. Question two, much shorter, you get 15 minutes for this, it's 40%. You're gonna analyze an environmental problem and propose a solution, okay? Remember all of the things that we've gone over with our solution, educating people to do X, Y, and Z, okay? Um, and also remember things like um, subsidies, for organizations that are doing something good for the environment, taxing those who aren't doing stuff that's good for the environment, okay? Those are, those are gonna be the key things you're gonna be looking at here. So you are going to have an authentic environmental scenario accompanied by a model or a visual representation, or again, some type of data, and they're going to assess your ability to describe or explain these environmental concepts, processes, and models, analyze this visual representations, propose and justify solutions. I love that one, justify these solutions to environmental problems, okay? So the same thing, this is the same exact thing as it says for question ones, no points are given for any sort of definitions. They're not gonna ask you for definitions, okay? So resources, how are we, how are we doing this? It's not just me that you guys are relying on at this point in time. I've sent out to you before, the um the apes classes and review sessions there are a bunch of them now online here's the whole playlist i'm going to send that out to you guys in um it'll be attached to this with in classroom and also i'll send it out to you guys uh via remind don't discount mr bozeman uh mr anderson at bozeman science this is his whole website if you click on any of those on his website it brings you up to his youtube playlists and then last but not least, AP Classroom. If your other teachers have been using this, I'm jumping into that pool and I'm going to be assigning new practice questions specific for the 2020 exam that they're now releasing, okay? People are saying some great things about them. So we're gonna use those as a resource, all right? And also I am now allowed to hold basically um, office hours where we can talk to each other live. Um, you can't record the sessions, you can't take pictures, your parents aren't supposed to be there. We have a bunch of guidelines to follow, but um, I'm excited to basically be able to answer your questions. None of them will be required, but I did one of them with one class before they were banned, and it was kind of nice just catching up with a couple people. All right, so um, yay, new AP exam. And of course I can't stop it. <laughs>